happy Monday. How is everyone? Um, it is the Monday before Memorial Day weekend. Uh, so I hope everyone had a really good weekend. Sorry, I, like just slurred that out a little bit. Um, I'm like catching my breath still. I'm still so tired. Uh, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I am so excited. Uh, they just announced that loose powders and pressed powders are back in stock and they're better than ever. Uh, so for those of you who are familiar with our pressed powders, um, they come in a compact like this. Uh, they, this one's like broken. It's like falling apart, so I would show you, but, um, most of the other ones are down there. But the pressed powders are amazing because they, um, give you a nice clear, um, hi Jessica, a nice clean finish. It looks really good, um, for summer or winter. It's light to medium. It's buildable coverage now. So now you can build up on it, you know, touch-ups and everything. Um, so instead of just staying one color, now it's buildable. Um, then I'm super excited that loose powders are back because loose powders are my favorite. So our loose powder foundation, they look a little different too. They have this meshy top right now. So this was released last year, but then they took it off. They were having some issues with the colors and then they re-released it. So I'm super glad they brought it back because it's amazing. Um, I also need to take these bad boys out. Um, so yeah, so I'm super pumped about that. So I have my primer on. Um, also, you have the option of adding the loose or the pressed powders into this month's kudos aside from the liquid foundation. So now you get your choice between primer or concealer. You choose between your foundation of liquid, pressed powder, or loose powder. And then you choose your powder puff brush or your liquid foundation brush or setting spray or setting powder, okay? So you are going to have a locked and loaded look in every single day this summer and it's going to be amazing on you. I'm so freaking pumped about this. You guys have no idea. <laughs> so, but let's get started. Um, we are going to start getting ready. I have to teach spin class again tonight and then I'm going to see about going in to my possible other job early. Possible. Possible. Not sure yet. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. Hi Katrina. Uh, so I have my primer setting in already, which is good. I'm going to use the color... Vel uh, no, let's tap it up. Velour today. So again, this is our Velour Pressed Powder Foundation. So I'm just going to smack it. Hi, Steph. Um, so this is Velour. It's a little bit of a, it's a third shade. It's a third shade in our um, foundation wheel. Also, really excited to announce we have come out with 13 new shades in the Pressed Powder family. So, you now have a better shot of finding the color that works that works best for you, that makes you feel good and confident every day, and it is still um, being, I can't think of the word, <laughs> it's still going to be covered under our Love It Guarantee, uh, Love It, you Love Your Shade Guarantee for this month. So, it is nice and light. You use a fluffy brush to blend it in. I'm going to do half my face to kind of show it off to you. So you guys can see it's nice and soft. It's not heavy. You can see the coverage starting to build up. This is the old formula, but the old formula to me, I loved it. So I can't wait to see what the new formula is like because I know I'm going to love it even more. So again, circular motions. Blending into my neck still. So when you do loose fat powder foundation, you want to roll, um, do it in circular motions, okay? Because that's going to buff it in nice and clean. It's going to give you that airbrush finish. This is best for um, summertime, so you guys can see how I'm starting to get that nice airbrush finish over here. This is best for summertime, uh, especially because it's so quick to put on. It's quick, it's easy, it's no mess, no nonsense. Hi, Camden. Um, so doing that gives you you know, the ease and breeze. Um, it's also best for if you have combination to oily skin. Powders are best for that because I feel like I'm going to, loose powder will kind of go over, so be careful about that. That is my biggest thing. Um, so if you want to, what was I saying? What was the track I'm on? What was the track I was on? Oh, so for foundation for your skin type. So this is best for um, combination to oily skin. You want to make sure you're super hydrated. Pressed powders and loose powders powder foundation in general tends to uh, make your skin appear even drier. So if you're not sure if this is for you, message me. We can always figure it out for you. But see, this is my normal color here. 
red, blotchy. This is starting to even out. This is starting, it almost is like a sun-kissed glow look, okay? So it makes your skin glow to me. So I hope this makes, you guys can see the difference in the line here. <laughs> uh, so this is what I love most about it. It kind of just gives you that natural sun-kissed glow already. I need to go tanning again soon, get a spray tan. All right, so we're gonna do the other side of our face now too, okay? So, ooh, ah, it's kind of, it's really powdery. But, hi Mirandia. I hope I said your name right. So we're gonna start building it up on this side of our face. But I'm super glad that they came back with these loose powders because this was my go-to every day last summer. Every day. Um, I love my BB Flawless. I love my liquid foundation. I love all those, but this was my go-to simply because it gave me such great coverage and a simple, easy look in no time. When I was in Aruba, this is what I wore. You know, just kind of slap a little bit on and I was out the door for dinner. So in Aruba, this is what I wore all the time. Um, hi, Elena. So this is hands down. I'm so glad they brought this back. But, and I'm also really glad because now you can use it in whatever choice of kudos you want this month. So if you want to add it into your, instead of the liquid foundation, you can add it into your liquid foundation. Um, you can choose to have it instead of pressed powder. So you get to choose between three different foundation formats now. I'm just trying to shake it out. So I was also like saving these because I didn't want to get rid of them yet because I was like, I love it so much. I'm not ready for it to be goodbye. Like... What am I gonna do? So I'm really, really, really stoked that this is actually back, back. So a few tips. Don't wear black with it. <laughs> um, it will kind of float around. It is loose. It is a loose powder. So be mindful of that when you use it. Um, one of the best brushes to use with this too, I'm not using it because mine actually fell apart, is our powder concealer brush. My, my, my powder concealer brush fell apart. I'm really sad. I also used it for everything. I'm not kidding. Everything. Alright, so that's a good coverage for today. So you see I have a nice soft look. Um, it's not heavy. It's not irritating. It's just, it's perfect. So I'm just kind of getting my chest a little bit. Ba bam all right so now that we have that all set in um i am going to use something that we no longer carry and i'm really sorry but it's our loose mineral concealer i'm just going to use a little bit to kind of highlight under my eyes yeah so we no longer have the loose mineral concealer so i'm just kind of using just that little bit to get under my eyes, forehead, nose, chin. All right. So yes, I got rid of it and I'm really sad about it. It was one of my faves. Oh, hi Kelsey, it didn't even tell me that you were on. I like to see you in the top there. Um, they like changed the live format again and it's really bothering me. So who knows? They always change it up when I'm like, okay, I'm getting used to this one. And then they're like, Err. thanks guys. Thanks. All right, so I forget how much I love the loose powder look. Like, I'm looking at it, and I'm just like, this is so nice. I look so pretty. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do a little bit of eye makeup. So I also got my 25 palette in, but I'm missing some colors. Oh, so now everything is nice and compact. It's also in a mirror format. So that is perfecto for me because I always need a mirror. For eye makeup, there's like so many things that like, some people are like, oh, I don't need a mirror for that, I don't need a mirror for that, and I'm sitting there going, I need a mirror for that, and that, and that, and that, and that. Hi, Jessica. So, I am the person who always needs a mirror. Let's see here. All right. Ah! We're just going to do some ni nice, light, soft colors. So, I'm going to do, I kind of want a little shimmer, though. Let's do some purples. So I'm going to do crafty here, which is this light purple here. Putting it right in the crease. I don't use crafty as much as I should. I should, but I don't. This 
this big mirror is so convenient. Yesterday I did my makeup like in the living room. So like I didn't have a big mirror to look into so I was like alright so this was super convenient to have. How are you? Thanks so much for tuning in. Always appreciate it. Alright, so we have some nice light purple going on here in Crafty. Alright, next up we are going to take a little bit of Discreet, which is the light pink here. We're going to use a little bit of Discreet. Hang on a sec, I think I need another brush. Hang on! like brand new too. So we're going to use a little bit of Discreet, which is the light pink right here. It's like a light nude pink, if you will. Filling that in. So now we got a little bit of a smoky going, and then we're going to top it off with just a little bit of cynical. I know it's a blue color. Hi, Cassie. Just really on that outer V. Doesn't hurt to use a little blue. I like kind of turn a little bit so I'm better at the light. Hi Gina. All right, so we got a little bit of blue and purple going on there. And then we're just gonna blend that out a little bit better. So again, I'm gonna go back to the crafty color, which is the light, light purple. Finish blending that out. And then, do I want some shimmer? Nah, no shimmer today. No shimmer, really keeping it simple. I'm going to teach spin after this, guys. Like, <laughs> I taught spin this morning at the IXL in Saugerties. Now I'm teaching tonight at the Rhinebeck IXL. So, busy little bee over here. Busy little bee. That's a good thing, right? Right? That's good. Let's see here. We're going to need you. We're going to need... Finish up our eyes. Hmm. I think we're good. We'll just use a little bit of you and then we're done. Alright, so taking just a plain blending brush. Just softening it all out. Blending under just that little bit. All right, so eyebrow time. So we're gonna use our brow palette in Blonde today. But luckily Blonde, because I can't find my brunette one. Blonde does have the darker brown in it, so I'm, I'm good with it. All right, so we're gonna start off with a little bit of the wax, which is like tail end of the wax here. So filling in. Short little hair like strokes. Hi 
Hi, Rebecca. So short little hair like strokes. Just to really get, so the wax is good because, hi Stephanie, excuse me, what's good about it is that it's going to hold all of the powder of the brow palette to my brows, so it's going to stay in place all day. Alright, so we're going to take the dark brown now. Going underneath our brows. Hi Ashley. So we're shaping out our brows now. All right, so we're getting that nice arch going. We're gonna fill in with the lighter brown. So again, short little hair like strokes. To really fill in there. And again, it's always short little hair like strokes. You always wanna follow that. So they look nice and natural. If you go in one big line each time, it's not gonna look natural if they're gonna look blocky. All right, so see how nice and natural that looks now? Now the other brow. This brow is like my worst brow. All right, a little bit of dark brow. Just to really fill in because these are this is my worst brow. And then we'll just add a little bit of brown here, dark brown. Try to make them look at least somewhat even. Brows should be sisters, not twins. Okay, so brows are done. Nice and shapely. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of the highlighter underneath it. Just a wee little bit. So the light highlighter underneath. really accentuate that arch. There we go. Then next up, we're going to do a little bit of bronzer just to give ourselves a little bit more of that glow. Because even though this is giving us a nice good glow, we want to just do a little bit of bronzer. So we're using Sunset. Our contouring. So I'm doing it nice and strong first, and then I'm going to blend it out. Just 
sister on our chin. All right, then we're gonna blend that out using this bad boy. So another nice big fluffy brush. This one might be too fluffy. Suck in your cheekbones. The fishy face. So blending it right on in there. Got the sides of my nose just a little bit. Lashes! All right, so for mascara, we are going to use, I think we're gonna do an Epic today. Epic or 3D? Which one? Oh, there's my other loose powder. Epic or 3D? Let's do 3D. We're gonna do 3D. Bam. All right, so doing the 3D. Let's camp out my Epic. Sometimes I make decisions based off of what I find first. All right, so we're gonna use our 3D Fiber Lashes Plus. Just making sure it's got lots of gel transplant on it. So using that. Then we're gonna use the fibers. So I have the gel transplant on, so now we're gonna use the fibers. So you take the fibers out, roll them on the back of your hand like this, back and forth. Not like this, roll them, okay? Then I do it from about the middle to the tip. All right, then seal that in with gel transplant. We're just gonna do one coat today. So to seal it in with gel transplant, so that's just one coat of my lashes. Crazy. To the bottoms. All right, so then we're gonna do the other eye. So again, gel transplant first. All right, and then we're gonna do the fibers. So again, roll them on the back of your hand. Every time you take it out of the tube, roll on the back of your hand. From at the middle to the tips. And then we're gonna seal that in with gel transplant. Mascara Mondays. So we got nice long lashes happening. Okay, in the bottom. And then we need a lip color. What do we wanna do? Nice and soft, nothing too crazy. Um, What do we want to go with? Purple eyeshadow. Let's do a lip stain. 
We're going to do a lip stain in Sucker Punched. Yeah, Sucker Punched. So Sucker Punch is kind of like a... Uh, here, I'll show you. Can't think of words for it. It's like a very pinky red fuchsia color. But it's going to offset the purple really nicely. The light purple in my eyeshadow. So we're going to use that one. Is that the one I'm looking for? No. Let's see. Alright, we're going to use a nude lip liner in the color, what is this one? Plush. All right, so in the color plush, and then we're going to use Sucker Punched over top of it. Actually, the plush with it looks really kind of cool. So getting in all the corners. So this is the one I put on my hand before, it is dry, it's not moving. The same thing for this. Once it dries, it's not going to move. It's going to stay put for the whole day, which is what I want considering I'm going to teach a spin class tonight. So you want that to last all day long. And then next, I'm going to spray this down with our setting spray. And we are all set. So, um, loose powders and pressed powders are back. And you guys totally need to get your hands on them. We also have 13 new shades with the pressed powders. Um, so if you're not sure what colors to look for, let me know. I have some charts. They're still new to me too, so I have no idea what I'm doing. But we're going to figure it out together, and we're going to find you your perfect match. In the meantime, have a great Monday, and I will talk to you all later.